Kratos314, thank you for a $5 super chat. The complexity of this hobby, a part of what makes it so cool, but it's also what's holding it back. Appreciate your vids. Would have given up without them. Yeah, you got it. You're absolutely right. That's been true for 10 years, and I don't see it changing. Um, I don't see it changing. You know? Um, High-performance hobbies have high barriers to entry. Uh, you can buy, like, like there are some exceptions, you know? You can buy a high-performance automobile and go drive it on a racetrack, and all you need is money, right? A lot of money. Um, that's because automobiles are one of the most popular pastimes, uh, one of the most popular activities, right? There's a lot of people who want to buy a high-performance automobile. FPV isn't like that. Um, there certainly was a time when if you wanted a high-performance automobile, you had a similar barri barrier to entry as you do with FPV. Well, I don't see FPV drones getting as popular as automobiles, so I think that uh, the barrier to entry is going to remain high. Um, and, and that's, you know, just the fact that we have to uh, get used to. Um, you know, the, the fewer guardrails are on a high-performance vehicle like an FPV drone, the uh, more you need an educated operator, uh, right, to, to make sure that things stay safe and then things stay working as they need to work. But, you know, like it or dislike it, it's a reality. And the only thing that would change that reality would be for there to be many, many more people who are interested in FPV. Because what will change that is money, right? If, if, if tens of millions of people were interested in the FPV hobby, I don't know, I just made that number up, maybe there would be enough money that it would make sense to build a system like the DJI FPV drone, but a proper high-performance, high-durability racing drone with the same performance as today's drones and the same ease of use as, as DJI, right? Um, that's not going to happen. And it's not. And for people who say that the technical hurdles are what's holding it back, I don't agree. I mean, yes, clearly the technical hurdles are an issue, and people wash out of the hobby because they can't get over the technical hurdles. But what's holding FPV back is that there aren't as many people who think FPV is a fun activity as, as you think there should be. Um, like, like here, here's, here's like some, some Venn diagrams, right? People who are interested in FPV, people who have the technical wherewithal to succeed at FPV, right? There, there's an overlap there. And there's people who are interested in FPV but don't have the technical wherewithal. And there's people who have the technical wherewithal but who aren't interested. And then there's people who neither have the technical wherewithal nor the interest, right? The people who are interested but lack the technical wherewithal, if we made FPV easier, all of those people would now be in the middle of the Venn diagram and they would be able to participate. That, my opinion is, that would still not be enough people to justify making FPV super accessible and super easy to use. And that's why no one's done it yet. That there just aren't that many people in the world who think flying an FPV drone, people, people number one, it's hard. Forget technical wherewithal. You have to be able to fly this little aircraft. It's hard. Lots of people try to fly it. And after 45 minutes, they go, F, F this. I'm going to go drive a little RC car. I'm going to get my fix by driving an RC car. And I don't need to relearn how physics work. There are people who get motion sick. There are people who just don't find it fun. And so on. And for people who are into FPV, that's a hard pill to swallow because we love FPV and it's so amazing. It's so amazing. The idea that someone else would just be like, meh, it's not for me. We're like, what are you talking about? Surely if only, if only it were easier, you would definitely want to do it. And it's just not true. It's just not true. 
There's a reason why airplanes are more popular. There's a reason why RC cars are more popular than RC airplanes, and RC airplanes are more popular than FPV drones. And that reason is only a little bit that FPV drones are more complicated. It's also just that that's not an experience that as many people seek out. And I'm not sure that it ever will be. Because here's the thing. The public has had years to suddenly decide that FPV drones are something they want to, uh, to participate in. They've had years to break through. We had, we had D Drone Racing League on NBC on Sunday afternoons for a year. It was on ESPN for several years before that. We have the Flow State film, not to toot my own horn. And now... For the last uh, two-ish years, we have all this footage raising the profile of FPV drones coming out of Ukraine. More people know what FPV drones are than ever in the history of the world today. For, for good or for ill. And we have not seen a humongous uptick in people deciding that they want to get into the hobby. In fact... The numbers are lower now than they have been in the past, according to my opinion, which is based on some reality, but not reality that I'm, you just have to take my word for it or don't. So exposure is up. Participation is down. What does that tell you? It tells you that, I think it tells you that it's just not a hobby that has broad appeal, but there it is. That's okay. It is what it is. But but we need to accept that... Well, I won't say we need to accept. We need to acknowledge that as of today, it's a nerd hobby with a high barrier to entry. And that's unlikely to change unless something fundamental changes in the future. What might that be? Well... If somebody starts making millions of drones with the intent of selling them to the government and those drones are easy to use, maybe that will filter over into the hobby. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. The other thing that is that the, the regulatory future of FPV is uncertain. Uh, and there certainly are people who might be interested, but they don't, they feel they look at the, you know, well, part one of seven trust test, uh, you know, remote ID, and they just go, nah, I'm just going to drive a car, an RC car, it's fine. So uh, when people say, man, it's the, it's the technical hurdles, the barrier to entry that's holding this hobby back. I'm like, brother, that's far from the only thing that's holding this hobby back. Have you got 15 minutes? <laughs>